All right, so here is another real-world example where compound interest and that, that formula comes into play. Now, this is not investing money, but it is the same type of exponential growth, and it still follows that same pattern. So here it says that you earn yearly raises of 5%. Okay, that's pretty good. So if right now your current salary is $54,000, what is it going to be in 12 years? So you're getting a 5% growth every year. Well, instead of figuring out what that 5% increase is every year and adding it back in and doing that for you know 12 times, uh, think about it like this. You can use that same compound interest formula. You might say, but I'm not investing money. I know, I know, just hold on. So we want to find our final amount. So that means we start with 54,000. One plus, now your rate is 0 0.05, but N. If this is happening once a year, so because it says yearly raises, that means that your N is going to be one. And then that means raised to the one, because that's N, times T, which is 12. So when you simplify this, and I, I want to point this out to you, again, how it works in the real world. If I simplify this, I get 1.05. And then 1 times 12 is, of course, 12. And so what this is saying is that in 12 years, your final salary is going to be, if you took your salary right now, you multiply it times 1.05, times 1.05, times 1.05, you've got 12 factors of that. So you're growing by 5%, 5%, 5%. That does not mean that it's going to be 60% higher. It's actually going to be a lot more than 60%. Again, it's that compounding effect. So after the first year, you've earned 5% of this base salary. But when the next year rolls around, your 5% raise isn't based on what it was at the very beginning. It's based on what that current salary is, which already has that 5% boost. So this is, this is great because like right now, if my work were to say, hey, we're going to give you a 4% raise, but it's based on what your salary was when we first hired you 15 years ago. I'm like, well, why can't it be a 4% on what my salary is right now? See, see how so that works? You don't want to be on the old, old guy. It's supposed to be an increase over what it is right now. So this is the way the formula works. Let's go to the calculator and see if this, see how this makes sense. All right, so we have 54,000 times 1.05 raised to the 12th. Now, please understand that this power of 12 is only on the 1.05. The power does not affect that um, initial value at all. And we hit enter, and we come, wow, woo, hot dog. So that means that your final salary, or that your salary in 12 years, is going to be 96000 Nine hundred seventy-six dollars and twenty-four cents. So yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Another real-world example of how we see this compound interest formula. Now, sadly, there is another real-world situation where we see this compound interest take place, and that is going to be with credit cards. Okay, so here's the thing. If you pay off your credit card bill every month, there's not a problem. If you have a balance on there, if there is an amount that you have not paid off completely, you're going to earn interest. Now, here's where a lot of people are not aware of how that works. You don't earn interest once a month. If you look at your credit card statement, there's actually a daily rate that's listed there. That means every day that you have an unpaid balance, that balance is going to grow according to the interest rate. Now, fortunately, it's not the rate itself. So the example that we have here in the notes is we're going to be looking at a credit card with an 8%, 18% APR, an annual percentage rate. That does not mean that an amount that's left is going to become 18% greater at the end of the year. This is just the rate. This is the same R that we had up here. 
But the thing is, credit card companies do this rate daily. They don't charge you 18% daily. Here's what they do. So that daily increase for those unpaid balances will be R over N. So in this case, that's going to be 0.18 divided by, we said daily, so that means 365 days. So this was the annual rate divided by the number of days in a year. Now, we can work this out, and you can even look in your credit card statements, and you can see this crazy long decimal, right? And you may think, oh, it's so small. That doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, it's a little bit. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what this 18% really, really means, okay? So, if you have, let's say you have $1,000, right? So that's going to be your principal. Let's say that's $1,000. Let's see what that $1,000 in unpaid credit card balance is going to be at the end of one year. So let's use that formula. The formula says A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. Now I know this sounds kind of weird because this is like an, an investing problem, or an, not an investing problem, but an investing formula, but it can be used for a lot of things. It can be used for depreciation. Um, but what's happening here is we're seeing how badly our debt's going to get out of control. So that's 1 plus, my rate is 0 0.18 over 365. Now the good news is, is that we're just going to be looking at t equal 1 year. The bad news is, is that this gets raised to the 365th power. That's a really big power. So let's see what happens. I'm going to take 1,000 times 1 plus 0.18 divided by 365, small number, raised to the 365th power. So that means that at the end of one year, your $1,000 in debt has now become $1,197.16. That's kind of an increase, right? That's almost $200 more than what you owed at the beginning of the year. Now, here's the other thing to think about. If you aren't paying on this credit card bill at all, you are also going to incur late fees. So that's what, $25, $35 a month, which is going to make it grow even faster. It's not related to the interest. It's related to you didn't pay anything. Now, sometimes they're going to say, just pay the interest. Yeah, you can do that, but the debt's never going to go away. So you have to pay more than what the interest is in order to make any kind of debt on this. Now, I want you to notice something, though. If I, I'm going to grab this thing that I just typed, and I'm going to take off this 1,000. So here's what this is saying. If I did 1 plus 0.18, that would mean 1.18, which is an 18% increase. When you look at this decimal right here, this 1.19, ignore the 1 because that's the 100% that we've talked about because you're still going to have the amount that you owe. That 18% interest, when it's done at a, as a daily rate, actually equals 19.7%. That's the that, that's the real uh, interest rate that you're paying. So over a year, 19.7, not 18. So be careful out there and uh, try not to get into credit card debt. Do your best. Bill's bills on time.